everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video today. I am super excited. We're taking a look at an awesome tag axle motorhome with one of the most unique floor plans I've ever seen. This is a 2021 Integra Coach Aspire model 44F. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at this Integra Coach Aspire. But you must be wondering, Matt, you don't sell Integra and Aspire. Where are you today? Well, with me, I have Mr. Ray. How's it going, brother? Hi. Where are we today? Beautiful Salt Lake City, Utah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look, you can't see it because it's raining, but those are the mountains right there. We're surrounded by mountains. It's amazing. Yeah. How long have you been with General RV? 11 years. Wonderful. And Ray is our motorhome specialist here at the Salt Lake store. So Ray, let's begin. We'll do the outside real quick and then we'll take a look at the inside. Great. Great, so this is the 44R Aspire. 44R, okay. This is our bunk bed model. Yes. Let's get started right up here first. Sorry, brother. So uh, tip to tip length is 44 feet, 11 inches. Uh, we have a nice big windshield. What type of generator do we have? You're gonna be a 10,000 watt Onan Gen. Okay. Diesel, of yep. course. Uh, that's gonna power four AGM batteries. Okay. With a single inverter, uh, 2,000 watts. And the engine? Engine's a 450 Cummins, but this is a Spartan chassis. Wow. That's gonna be an upgrade from some of your Freightliners out there. This is the best riding coach made today. Yes, so one thing I love about Spartan is the independent front suspension. That's correct. Also with the independent front suspension, you get a 315 size tire. Let's take a look at that. I love this headlight design. That's the Integra look that I love. And then look at these tires, right? They're the Michelins. Yeah. What size are they? That's a 315, 80 on a 22 and a half with an alcohol wheel. Perfect. You Spartan insignia there. Yes. So that's a lot wider tire than you're going to see on some of our competitors' coaches. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they'll be a 295 or 275 on your competing diesels. Speaking of competitors, this is what I love. This is why I got so fired up. Tiffin, Holiday Rambler, Winnebago. Newmar now, Newmar. American Coach, That's right. Fleetwood, and Integra Coach. That's correct. All in Salt Lake City. That's right. Pack your bags, folks. We're moving here. The inventory, I mean, you are the competition. So that's what's great about the uh, Salt Lake City location. That's right. Real quick on the paint job here, you've got a four color, all cut and buff. You cannot feel inside your paint. This is oh, wow. No, you can't. Smooth. Triple clear coat, big, best paint in the industry. You won't come in here and find any flaws or any defects typically on an Integra product. They take a lot longer to build, but it's a lot, it's worthwhile again. Yes, hang on a second. Okay, perfect. We got frameless windows with like window awnings. And then let's take a look at that TV. Nice, Samsung TV on the outside with a JBL speaker. Yeah, that's gonna be a smart TV as well. Oh, do we have the keys? We do. Perfect. Okay, nice storage right here. Again, Integra does the carpet, which I'm not a huge fan of. And then right here is a remote for that Gerard awning. We're not going to put it out right now because of the weather. But the carpet is supposed to be noise dampening. I'm not a huge fan of that, personally. We have nice Moride pull-out slide trays that you can get from both sides. And then really nice storage. Is that spare tile for the inside? Yeah, a couple tiles there. Central back attachments. Okay. The unusual thing that uh, Integra does here, inside these compartments, you've got your inverter switch and all your main DC breakers right here. Yeah. And in the center of the coach, inside this box, Yep is actually where your batteries are. Oh, really? Now your batteries are centered over because they're very heavy these days. It's four AGMs. They're well over hundred pounds a piece. Wow. They're maintenance free. So you're thinking, well, why is it put away like that? It's because you don't have to deal with it. Nice. AGM means you don't have to touch them. It's a 
lot more power. This is going to have solar, of course, from the factory. And it's just exactly the term, maintenance free. Perfect. And then can you tell me a little bit about these slide outs? Notice how they're like real flush. They're a very interesting slide out. So when Integra builds the slide wall, they build it in one piece and they actually cut the slides out of the sidewall and then reinstall them later into the slide. That is why they match perfect every time. They wow. On all four slides. Awesome. Right down here, uh, here's fresh your fresh water. It's your potable water fill. Yep. Potable. Po potable. <laughs> so nice. You can actually see your fresh water so you're not relying on your stuff. You can see like, if, you, if you're troubleshooting a okay. fresh water fill. But this is fresh water gravity fill. On the other side is going to be pressure fill. Perfect. Tag axle right here does not have the ultra v like a freight liner would but still rides well best riding coach on the market you've got a lot going on here with the way that the frame mat what matches to the uh to the coach itself and really it's it's a matter of driving one it you will never drive a nicer coach than this aspire here perfect let's keep on keeping on right down here there's where you fill up your def I like how it's a little door right there, but then it's also like, it's like a Russian nesting doll. Yeah. You got doors on doors. There's some more batteries there. Oh, engine door compartment is electric. Oh, look at that. No ladder to get up on the back. I'm not gonna lie, Ray. I probably wasn't gonna climb the roof today anyways. I'm not getting up there. And then look at that. Like, look at this shot. You got the Integra, you got Ray, and you got the mountains. It's so hard to see right now on the camera. But that's amazing. Okay, so this is on the Spartan K2 chassis. As Ray said, 450 horsepower Cummins engine with a 3,000 Allison transmission. 3,000. And then what What can we tow? 15,000 pounds. Truly. It's a true 15,000. Wow. It's 1,500 pounds of tongue weight. They're even providing air to the back. Okay. That's going to be for your stackers, for your air brake systems, yep. for all kinds of different uh, appliances like that. I love it. Your side mount radiator, that's what bumps us to a 450, but it makes things Is it? Fun. Oh man, I didn't even know that. So so tell us the advantage of the side mount radiator. Side mount radiator opens up your back end so you can actually work on stuff. Okay. It's not that we're working on it, but I want to be able to check this stuff. I want to see that I've got a good air filter and that I can check my trans fluid and my oil and all this stuff. It's really open. This lid breathes better. Okay. We're even going to do 110 volt um, to the back here. And that's for, maybe it's an appliance, but really it's a block heater. Oh, wow. Right? In Florida, you guys don't have to worry about that. Yeah, what's time. a block heater? <laughs> block heater is exactly that. It, it uh, maintains that engine heat in the winter so it can start it easily. Perfect, perfect. So then right here, let's finish up the outside real quick. Uh, this is your macerator right there. Uh, can you open that for me, sir? Yes, sir. Thank you. Maybe. Thank you. Right here's your wet bay. I love how Integra does it. Clean, nice, organized. You have a power reel for your fresh hose right there. Very nice. Black tank flush. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you get all of these? We want to see it all, Ray. Perfect. The Aqua Hot 400D water heater with a 50 amp power cord reel. Surge protector right there. No propane on this coach, but if you guys want to see the specs, bing, we will put them all right there. It's an all electric coach. Really nice. Anything else you want to mention? Dirt Devil centralized vacuum there. Well, you know, you mentioned that you didn't like carpet. And I yes. I go the backwards on you. Okay, talk to me. It's now time for a debate. <laughs> This can be a noisy place. We've got tools, I've got hitches, I've got tow bars, I've got whatever it is that you want to put down here. That stuff is banging around. It's a low part of the coach and you're gonna hear it. You're gonna hear it on plastic, you're gonna hear it on fiberglass, you're gonna hear it on all those other materials. Carpet deadens that. It also is a road noise detonator from the road all the way up to the top of the coach where you're sitting. Uh, we're not gonna put water in here. Why would we? We're not going to let it rain like we are today. There is that's a worry, but this is a five hundred thousand dollar MSRP coach. 
We're not, it's not gonna be in the elements. We're not gonna be places where you're gonna let that soak water. Right. I hope. I, I, I love the opinion. That's what's so great. And then finishing all up, we got your fuel fill up here, and dual this is fuel. dual fuel, and then this is where you pull out to uh, get your generator pulled out. And there's some oh. troubleshooting there too. Yeah. Very nice. Well, Ray, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Can you hold this? Let's go take a look. All right. Check out the inside. If you can, oh, I'll take a look if you want to get the slide outs out. So inside the coach, this is what it's like when the slide outs are in, okay? Now we do have these little footrest thing mm -hmm. here that definitely they go mm -hmm. in you would have to place them someplace when you uh want to get them in and then here's what's really unique about this floor plan this is where we take a look and see the half bath but in this floor plan they put the full bath right there and the half bath right there which is very unique and interesting and Ray, while you're getting the slide outs out, we have a huge favor to ask everyone. If you guys could, please leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like about this floor plan and three things you don't like about it. The more people to comment and smash that thumbs up button, the more people YouTube likes to promote our videos to. And Ray is one of the uh, motorhome specialists here in Utah. And he was, I was all like, Ray, do you want to be in a video? And he was like, yeah, let's do one of his favorite floor plans, which is this one. Why do you like it so much? Bunk bed's a hot item here in Salt Lake City. We want a diesel that can tow. Oh, it's a slide out going out. There it oh, goes. There you go. It can go to the racetrack. It can go to the dunes. It can go to Lake Powell. Let's do the beds first. Uh, so with a 15,000 pound tow capacity, you know, not everybody's just mom and pop here. Yeah. We've got a younger crowd that uh, wants something very nice and they got to take the kids with them. Perfect. So Ray, why don't you show us what's going on in the cockpit area? Well, again, this is your Spartan chassis. This is a great one here. We've got the new digital. Okay. Put on the, put on the brake and just press start here. Wow. Very nice. I love the cameras here. You able to see what's behind you? Also, you have this 360 degree camera going on right there. I don't know how we live without that. 360 view changes everything. Yes. You can watch somebody walk in front of you, a little kid on a bike, or those dreaded concrete pillars at the gas station. That oh take yeah. Out front ends. 360 view changes absolutely everything. Even just parking it on the lot here for us makes it so we can do it with one guy rather than a couple. Right. What do we got over here? We got your control panel, your auto leveling. Tell us a little bit about this dash. This is a new digital dash for the Spartans using, and it's got a little knob over here on the left, and you twist this, because it says 7.2 MPG, that's not gonna be accurate. We wanna ignore that anyway. And we hit over here, it'll give us things that we can switch around, but my, most of my favorite one is this. This is tire pressure monitor. Oh, wow. And that's all built in, and they're gonna come online here. You've got tanks and voltages and everything like that. Everything that you want to see is all at the push of a button. Boost gauge. My favorite tip that nobody knows about on a big diesel like this, and that's Freightliner, Power Glide, or Spartan, is you simply turn on your cruise and press resume, and it idles up to a thousand RPM. That is to get batteries charged, fill air tanks, and warm the coach up quicker on cold winter days. That's my pro tip that nobody even seems to know. That's Ray's pro tip of the day. Perfect. We got cup holders here. No bunk over the cab. We got plenty of storage, a nice Samsung TV right there. And right here, we do have a slide out that will come all the way out. Let's see if I can push this, extend that out. And then here's what I love. When it's all the way out, watch what happens, folks. Oh, you see how it came up a little bit? That is a super, super nice feature. JBL speakers and everything. Perfect. If you take this ray, and here we go now. And again, if you need to see the screen, just perfect. So over here in the living room area, we have nice cabinetry above. This is all solid wood held up by struts. You can see the inside there, very, very nice. 
We have nice balances here. And what Ray was saying off camera, this is gonna have your manual daytime shades and privacy shades. And when you step up to the Anthem, you get the electrics, right? That's right. Perfect. Right here, you have a tri-cushion sofa with seat belts there and there. Does this come out and make a bed? It's a big hide bed with the inflatable mattress. Oh wow, very nice. And it's big too. It's good enough. It's good for an adult. Yeah. And then across, before we go across, I love this porcelain tile floor. Very nice. If you look above, we have this nice artwork piece right there. Ray, do you know what we call that? I don't have a name for it. Art Deco. Art Deco. Oh, yes, sir. Fancy. And then also right here, this is the Whisper Quiet Air Conditioning Unit. And then over here across, you have this TV right here. And this is what one of my favorite features. It is controlled by a televator. Now, Ray, tell me a little bit about this dinette. I haven't seen one like this in a coach. When you came in here, we saw, especially with the uh, the, the footrest here, that it was a little awkward. And so yes. what happens is, is this is a convertible dinette. Oop, can and you show us? Absolutely. So you, you pull up here really easy. This pulls straight out. Oh, wow. Put the cushion over. And then this is a... That can fold in or out. So like the table's okay, out. that would have helped me get in some. Correct. Yep. So, yeah, easy. And then there's another cushion in here somewhere, but that fills in the back. And now we're four people. Wow. Instead of two. But it only takes up two while you're traveling. I love right. that. That's With an two, awesome feature. Two seatbelts. That's really nice. And then you have your uh, feet <laughs> holder right there. Well, Ray, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. You guys ready for this? MSRP on this motorhome here is $494,566 MSRP. Sale price, we have it $111, $111,000 off MSRP to $382,998. But Ray, we can get everybody in America an even better sale price than that. Do you know what they should do? What's that? They should call, text, email, or FaceTime. 301-906-0962. Or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Send us an email, or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com. There you'll see three contact tabs. If you're ready to buy this RV, click tab number one. That takes you to General RV, and somebody from my team will be able to give you the best price in America. If you have questions about this email, send me an email, click tab number two, I answer you within 24 to 48 hours, or if it's just a generalized fan question, click that third tab. And it doesn't matter if somebody clicks tab three, two, or one, we will always be able to get you the best price in America. Or there's another alternative. Ray, tell everybody, tell everybody what to do. Call me. C call Ray, come yep. to Salt Lake City Please. in Utah, ask for Ray, he's one of the motorhome specialists here, and it doesn't matter which brand you're looking at, we sell them all here, which That's is right. awesome. That's right. Cool, Ray, let's continue with the kitchen. Whirlpool convection oven. Wow, very nice. Huge, yep. Nice storage right There's there. More of that carpet. Okay, see, I don't mind the carpet on the <laughs> interior. I, 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 I see the value there. What's this? This is awesome, so this opens up this slides out. Oh. And you've got a stove cover right there. Wow, very nice. Yep. We got more storage over there. Yep, more storage. This is on shelves or for the shorter people, you've got a pull out here. Yes, sir. Uh, good luck with your remotes. Yep, you got a million of them. But now they go the extra mile because they are going to actually label them for you. Oh, yeah. that's huge. Good that luck. really is a big deal. One piece farm sink. I love the farm sink. I get a lot of pushback on it though. Really? Uh, people like to have two sinks still. We prefer the farm sink. I think it looks great. Nice solid surface countertop with an interesting backsplash here. And I love that window. It's a great window. Uh, more storage here. Oh, Ray. This is a $104 trash can. <laughs> Nice storage underneath the sink. Yeah, and here's your actually sink covers. And this is a little feature that is probably one of my favorites because we didn't even know that it had them, right? And so they were put away real nice. Yes. That really expands your countertop, but there's a nice, and it's the carpeted slot there, so they're not banging around. Yes. Easy to do to shove that right We got there. the Fisher Bakel 
washer dry or not washer dry dishwasher. dishwasher there if you're doing dishes like that you're doing it wrong we don't rv like that around here <laughs> and then this is a pull out island with the drawers right there full roll okay Look spare paint yep. yep wow very nice and as you saw it did have a furion induction cooktop that's right the best appliance that we're missing here is your uh wine cooler right here oh wow i didn't even see that very nice we got a little bit of storage above there okay oh fancy with a little uh with little lily pads going on there or whatever you want to call, call that it. a bar of some type yeah and then you got a little bit more storage here and then if you hold this here we do have some pantry space right nice pull out we do have a nice big whirlpool uh it's all locked up here uh so you have your water maker freezer right there and even more pantry space the pantry space in here is unbelievable subwoofer yes and there's the cushions that oh, we were looking for there they are and then coming down the side here now this is very unique this is your bunk bed area and you were saying that these are electric, electric. so yeah. so show us what's going on so what happens here is you got a key to keep the kids away from it but you just press these buttons here wow this will go up flush and it's already set up it's got your hanging rod below it oh smart right so this it's your closet when the kids aren't there yeah now there's two insignia tvs in here for the kids but it's yeah. really great storage when we're done we just close that thing right up like that wow very very nice feature okay into the bathroom here we go uh again this is so unique this is the main bathroom and the rear bathroom is a half bathroom that's so unique and different i haven't seen that definitely not the biggest shower i've ever been into in a diesel but again it's nice it's it's right in the middle you got plenty of height right there and everything nice little teak seat and then over here this is uh, a great place for your medicine medicine cabinets right here for all your medicines very nice solid surface countertops in in the bathroom little uh sponge holder right there and storage right there now ray you know what time it is what's that it's now time for the toilet test oh Orson. okay it's a little tight for me ray i'm rubbing up a little bit but that might that might have been because the in and out we ate over here on the west coast <laughs> on the west side of america so this might be the in and out or the Del Taco that we had. Um, I'm not gonna give it a pass, but I'm not gonna give it a fail. I'm gonna give this one a net neutral, uh, and that might be on my own doing. Yeah, this is the kids bathroom though. Remember the master uh, toilet will be in the back. Okay, I'm well, excited for I, it. I'm excited for toilet test number two. Yes, take take <laughs> take number two. A pit. <laughs> And then right here, okay, okay, wow, look at this. So this is storage, but it also leads to where the um, where the TVs would be for that bunk area. Very unique. Over here in the bedroom, we got the TV right here. How does this work? Oh, there you go storage behind the tv with a safe that's in, that's in the west we, we're packing and it's in that safe i promise <laughs> the wild wild west right over here we got storage very nice drawers back here i love the led lights underneath emergency exit very big drawers again you can tell the woodwork with integra solid very nice king size bed back here oh it's just oh it's just like a memory foam or something it is sweet huh? holy smokes yeah that's nice listen folks i went camping the other day and it was not a comfortable mattress this one is comfortable you have storage above nice headboards with the side windows there and look you even have a ceiling fan right up there very nice and then coming in the back okay we got a lot going on here first stackable washer dryer very nice second we got some storage back here and some storage back here very interesting 
We do have the engine running, diesel pusher. Right here, you do have medicine cabinet. Again, nice continuing with that backsplash. Little drawer right there, big drawers. Tons of storage back here. And Ray, you made us a promise and it looks pretty promising. It's time for uh, the Toyota Test Part 2. Oh yeah. Ray, do you know what we call this? <laughs> I don't. This is a prime pooping position. Bing! <laughs> Very nice. And Ray, as nice as it is and as great as it is, it's now time we give everybody three things we love about this motorhome and three things we don't like about it. Ray, what do we do first? What's, I don't know. Whatever. Do you want to give three things we like or three things we don't like? Oh, let's do three things we don't like first. Okay, perfect. We'll start off easy. First thing that I'm not a huge fan of, if you hold this here, and this is a little thing, these doors, they don't open, the door's bigger than the door opening, which is a little weird for me. You know, I'm imagining putting a suitcase back here or putting like a box back here because it's out of the way, and the door opening just isn't that big, which is very unique in my opinion. So that's one. Ray, do you have a dislike? I'd like to see another bed in here somewhere. Yes, yes, great dislike. Dislike number two is that there's no bunk over the cab. I get it. When you're at a diesel pusher this level, you don't want the bunk over the cab. Most, when we're at $500,000, we're not, they don't option them with bunk over the cabs. But with this being a bunk model, you know, this is for the family who wants to bring more people. So I 100% agree with that. That's number two. And Ray, do you know my number third? My, not my, my number third. My number three? <laughs> Let's hear it. Even though it was debatable, it's still Mansur V reviews, and I do not like the carpet underneath the bay. I've never been a fan of that. Um, maybe they camp different here on the west side, but on the east side, it's going to get rain, wet and rainy because it always rains at 3 o'clock in Florida. Great. So that's three things we don't like about it. Ray, it's now time for three things we love about this motorhome. Do you want to go first? Sure. So I love the convertible bunk beds. Yes, huge. They're there when you need them. They're there when you're not. It's great storage. You want to take the grandkids. You don't want to take the grandkids. It's not in our way, but it really expands the level of this coach. I, I love it. That's a great number one. Number two, I'm going to say, I love the fact that they put the full bathroom in the middle and the half bathroom in the back. You know, um, the reality is, it's like when you're, you know, when when you have a bunk model, the kids are using your bathroom back there because that's where the shower is. Where now they don't need to walk through your, the kids have no business in your bathroom in the back or even going in your bedroom because the, the line stops right there, if you know what I'm saying. So that's an awesome feature as well. So that's two. And then Ray, do you have a number three? Number three is really, Amish built cabinetry. That okay. Is, that is not a lie. I've been to these factories. These are the best cabinets built on the market. They are built in another building that's way off that's not on the main line where they're carved out of real hard woods, put together, stained, glossed, everything by real Amish folks there in Indiana and they don't make better cabinets, period. Man, that's huge. And something else that I'd like to add that Ray was saying off camera, you know, listen, we sell we sell every brand here and we will we will we, we, we sell every brand, so it's cool. But Ray was saying that this is the best riding, best handling, quiet class A diesel pusher on the market today. Period. It really is. If you haven't driven one, if you've driven something else, please come in, drive the Aspire, drive the Anthem, drive something. They really do set themselves apart. It's a big difference. Perfect. I love it. Well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. Ray, thank you for filling in for Andrea. Now listen, leave down in the comments below, y'all. Give Ray some love. You know, trust me, I come to this dealership on the spot, on plan, and I'm all like, I need somebody to record me. And Ray was one of the only ones to volunteer, so we appreciate it. Um, if you guys have any questions about this RV, please call, text, send us an email. It is mattsrvreviews.gmail.com 
or 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell phone. Or again, the best thing to do is go to MassRVReviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. In a few seconds, if you're in the market for a upper echelon diesel pusher like this, I'm gonna have videos show up right there and there. Ray, is there anything you wanna say to America? Hey, thanks for watching. Come see us. Yep, thank you again, again. Ray is not as pretty as Andrea, but he has that knowledge and experience. He's been in the RV industry for so long, and there's times that I'm about to do a review, and I call Ray, and I'm like, crap, what's, what's this about it or that about it? And Ray's always there to help answer the questions. He's a wealth of knowledge, and listen, if you're, no disrespect to lower price points, but if you're spending this type of money, you're gonna wanna work with an expert, so make sure you give Ray a call at the Salt Lake City store. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching, and Ray, we'll see you next time.